To connect an iSCSI device on your Windows uh, 7 computer, you can actually run the start menu and in this little search box below, just enter iSCSI. It will show you the iSCSI initiator, which we can start up. Now, the first time you do this, uh, you will actually be notified that the standard service, how Windows installed it, is manually start up and it will not be enabled by default. So the first time, you can choose to automatically start it when the computer uh, starts up. So we're going to click yes here. And then the only thing we need to do once the program starts up is on the targets tab. Just enter the IP address of your NAS server and select Quick Connect. Now this may take three to five minutes to find all the things it needs to set and will automatically create uh, the drive. So we're just going to let uh, the, the program now find uh, the iSCSI device we just configured on a network and that will pick up from there. So we left the unit uh, checking it for two minutes. As you can see, my window state's not responding. But don't get fooled by this, because it's still looking to map the iSCSI device. We're just going to leave it another minute, because it's going to come up any time now. Um, after this, what you can do is just check, of course, if your drive is available, which is not going to be the case. And the reason why is that your system will actually see it as an uninitialized drive, so just like you would add a new drive into your system. So here we can see that it has actually connected, which is going to select done. You can see the entries there, and you can actually see uh, the discovery uh, of the QNAP NAS here has been completed. Now this means my iSQSI device is ready, however not yet connected to my system as a local uh, attached drive. So what you do is on your computer you right click with the mouse and select manage. And just like any other drive you go to disk management and from there you will be prompted that there is a new disk available. I'm just going to click cancel here and then show you that it's actually on your disk, the 500 gigabyte iSCSI device that we prepped, and what you can do is actually right click here on the first part, not here, but there, initialize the disk, disk 4, MBR, just default, click on OK. Now it's available, and now you can right click and actually make a simple volume out of it. And we're just gonna do that right now, we're just gonna assign drive letter, um, whatever you want, we're just gonna give it a K then go next and then choose NTFS or XFAT and we just choose NTFS and then name it QNAP DS perform a quick format click on next and finish and this will actually mean that your drive is now ready and it's going to be connected in just a few seconds when it's done formatting and that's how you connect to an iSCSI device now this will give me 500 gigabyte storage on the QNAP NAS server dedicated to this PC in which I can store data and share it with other computers around my network and everybody can store and read data from the same location so we're actually sharing a repository uh, between different computers this is not really needed for uh, media players and stuff but still interesting enough to have other data like software available in a central storage where you have the auto connection to the uh, PC automatically and I think it's nice to have such a feature. So now we have completed the formatting and we don't need to open this but you can see that there is a new drive here which is QNAPDS, the K drive and we do have read and write access by default on it. We can delete files and everything else. So it actually comes up as a standard local drive in the hard disk drive. Now notice again when we connect to a network drive the normal way it will actually show under network location while this drive shows under local hard drive. So that's pretty much it about iSCSI. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video guide and see you next time.